Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use up to down. Before we start, hurry up and check out the so for just under this video. Let's get started. So before we actually start using up to down here, we need to discuss if up to down is actually safe. So what is up to down? So up to down is a pretty popular platform where you can download apps and even or in this case, even download the older versions of it. So something you don't always get with other app stores. So they even got a big YouTube following here. So you could go ahead and visit them if you want. And how do we handle or how do they handle safeties here? So since up to down is fairly new to some people, so how is safety uh, handled here? So in this case, this interesting about up to down here is up to down says that their priority is user safety. So they work with services or a service called uh, Virus Total, which actually checks for files on their site using over like 70 antivirus programs. So pretty good in this case. So when you're on an app's download page, you'll be able to see a blue shield on that icon and clicking it shows the security report for that specific app. But yeah, so you uh, usually speaking here um based on what they said it looks like the app is pretty safe but let's go and try using it so how do we start using it well first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and basically go to the official website it's going to be en.uptodown.com and you want to go ahead and click on the tree bar or tree uh, bar icon in the top left here and you want to go ahead and go to android and you want to go ahead and install it now from this case you should be able to see the option here to download it but if not I think you should be able to see the up to down app store at the very bottom here so go ahead and click on it and it should redirect you to this one let's go and click on download and it should start the download or it should start the APK download for the APK let's go and click on download anyway and from here let's go and click on open and we want to go install this go ahead and click on or select on package installer and from here click on install now it should start the installation process so let's go ahead and wait for it so this might take a while so it's going to start scanning here and we are good so let's go and click on open now from here it's going to ask you some permission so let's go and allow file access let's go and go back here once you've allowed that it's going to uh, give you some information here so terms of service and privacy settings here if you want to read that go ahead and click on the appropriate button but for now let's go and click on accept now from here, it's going to ask you again, permission. So first is going to be the install from unknown sources. So you want to enable that. You can go and click on it, click on allow. And from here, it's going to give you some warning. So go ahead and uh, click on I'm aware at the very bottom here and just click on okay at the very bottom as well. So let's go and click on okay. So I can go back here and you want to go ahead and click on notifications here as well and click on allow, click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you to uh, Lock in into your account, but you could also use an anonymous account here if you want. Let's go and choose anonymous. And from here, you can go and search whatever app that you want to download. So, for example, maybe I want to download, uh, for example, TikTok if you want. So, you could go ahead and click on it and you can download that directly from up to down. Now, you could go ahead and click on download here if you want to proceed with that one. But in my case, maybe I want to download an app that I don't have here. So in this case, maybe I want to select the, this one. Let's go ahead and click on it, click on download. It's going to start the download process here. By the way, this is the blue shield that I'm talking about. So if you want to view details about it, as so you can see, the virus total results. And if they do see some error or some issues on it, they will be removing the specific app here from uh, your uh from the store that you have right now so you could also see the number of downloads here the less update the number of uh, reviews for that specific app so if you want to view that so as you can see it's installing go ahead and click on install here so in this case uh you could go and start using it so the app itself is pretty similar with any other uh app store out there so if you're familiar with uh, google app store this one is pretty similar but if you're searching for a very specific app here, you go to search apps at the very top here and just basically search for that specific app that you're looking for. So for example, if you're going to type YouTube here, it's going to give you the option for YouTube if you want to install that from here. But yeah, so you can also click on the uh, top right here if you want to visit the official website. You can also click on the up to, uh, up to down um, logo at the top left here if you want to access a few things. But it's Looks like it's not working 
But yeah, you could also click on the following buttons at the very bottom. So we have the option here to view your homepage. We also have our game section here if you want to install any games or recommendations from them. You could also see your favorites if you favorite something before. And you could also, or in this case, the favorite, uh, the top downloads uh, app section. So yeah, you could also go to your profile or your um, kind of like kind of kind of your profile here if you've uh, signed up or signed in into uh, up to down. So you can see your apps, some updates if you want to update the app itself or the update on that specific app. You can even uh, view your downloads, uh, some rollback here. So if you want to roll back some of the application. So if you want to use a uh, specific version before of that specific app. Now you could also go to upcoming releases here for upcoming releases for apps. And if you want to view your research, this is how you view it. And if you want to edit the, like your settings, uh, you could go to your settings here and even go to security if you uh, if you have any concerns for it. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.